Social media, in my opinion, from a marketing perspective, is the most powerful tool that you've ever had at your disposal as a real estate agent. The reason why I want Peter to come today is, you know, talk about technology and social media. Are you willing to reinvent yourself? Peter, come on up. This is Peter Lorimer, PLG Estates. How many have seen Peter up here before? Social media for me should be out the gate, first thing you do in the morning. Our potential clients, they all know we sell friggin' houses, right? And if we just keep hammering them with two-dimensional glossy pictures of, here's my latest sale, here's my this, here's my that, you know, they become numbed to it, right? They just become numbed to who you are. It's like, oh, okay, um, um, desensitized is the word. For me, the whole point with social media is this. It's that, oh, that's cool. They just stop on you for a second. Because everybody's doing this, boring, 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 boring. Oh, that's cool. That's all you want, right? And then you get a like, and then you track that like. And if they keep liking you, they're a potential client. When you post through authenticity and through faith, it seems to have magic results. In social media, it's all about what? You. It is not about the houses anymore. It just isn't. It's about you. If you're going to go out there on social media and put yourself out there, you really have to un have an understanding, a connection to who you are. Your essence, your spirit, your power, your gift. It's all about stirring emotions and creativity, which allow us to then put out that authenticity out to our potential buyers and sellers because they smell it and they feel it and they're going to continue to smell it and feel it. Don't just post because you feel like you have to. Try and sculpt what you post. What companies spend millions of dollars on, you have for free. You don't need any books from any brokerages. You don't need any, any nonsense, any marketing, any blah. You just need YouTube and Inman.com. If you have those two things, you don't need anyone else. There are systems that we have in place where you never need to knock on a door again. You never need to make a phone call again. You never need to send out postcards again to create business for yourselves, right? The moment you go, and let me show you some diagrams, <laughs> you're done. Video, for me, is the most powerful commodity we can use as agents. By far, video gets clicked on way, 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 way more than a static picture. So let's just say I'm up for a gig and somebody else is up for a gig. Doing all of this media, it makes you look and seem like you know what you're doing. It looks and makes you seem like you are an authority in your industry. Agents who are not doing social media, the business will decline and continue to decline and continue to decline. Yeah, I met an agent called Joe Green. I met a, a, an agent called Bob Smith. I met an agent called Pete Lorimer. They're all three really nice guys. What do they do next? They Google you. And they Google you to see what you're about, what you're working on, and about you. And if it's just a crappy website with a, a grinning picture and then a bunch of generic stuff on it, and then you're going up against some guy who's got videos like this or some gal that's got videos like this, chances are this is gonna win out. All right, so when we got an email 10 years ago, you could get back to them the next day, right? Right? And then, five years ago, you had to get back to them the same day. Three years ago, you had to get back to them within a couple of hours. And now you've gotta get back to them instantly. It was five minutes in 2015, but now it's kind of instantly. Right? She's representing who I am as an agent or who I am as a, break, as a broker to someone that I was going to lose 120 seconds later. And the price of this stuff is pennies. The window is closing. We have a moment in time right here where buying advertising through Facebook, through Twitter, well, Twitter's a mess, but through Instagram, through all of these platforms, we have a window where it is pennies. 
I believe that Snapchat will be as important a platform as Facebook and Instagram within 18 months. But what I love about Snapchat is I'm in, I'm out. I'm in, I'm out. It's like click, 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 click. I've just seen 100 people and what they did all day. But we are peddlers of trust. So the reason why he gets listings, I get listings, my guys get listings is because when they walk in, they are unshakable with their belief on what they're peddling. And what we're peddling is cutting edge shit. And people can feel it. It's never too late to jump in. 50 views a year ago, 20,000 views today. Correct. We're not reinventing the wheel. We're not going to have a social media presence that is, oh my God, did you see that? It's not, we're not gonna have that reaction, but it's gonna be the raised eyebrows and smile reaction. So when, when people are, when your clients are scrolling through these endless open houses on their Facebook feeds, and you have something just a little bit different, the reaction is, ah, there's this big sloppy cloud of vanilla that, that, that follows the forward thinkers. I would like to think that we are forward thinkers and we've just always got to keep ahead of that vanilla, just a few steps. Because once it consumes you, you're dead. If this is the future, how many of you are ready for it? Peter's gonna come in every month, do a clinic like we did today. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. The front line of attack has changed.